everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is kami in today's video i'm going to be showing you all the skirts i've made for myself yes i've made skirts for other people my sisters and my mom but yeah today i'm going to be showing you the skirts that i've made for myself from when i first started sewing till date look at them all here these are all the skirts that I've made for myself. I'm very proud, I'm very happy, and I'm very excited to show them all to you guys today. And I hope that you're excited to see them too. In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the skirts. I'm going to be showing them to you. And of course, I'm going to try them on so that you all can see what they look like on a person, what it looks like to wear it. So yeah. These are my creations that I put time, work, effort energy into so of course i'm very excited to show them to you so let's get into the video so the first type of skirt that i'm going to be showing to you all and the first type of skirt that i ever made is this this is a pegged skirt also known as a pencil skirt when i try it on you're going to fully understand what it looks like on a person but here it is this is the front of the skirt this is the back of the skirt this it's the first skirt I ever made, so it's not my best work. I'm much better now, like much, much, much better. If you are good at noticing details, then you're going to see my improvements as this video commences. The sewing will become neater. Certain aspects of the skirt will be more well put together. You'll just notice improvement. But yeah, this is the first skirt I ever did. And honestly, I think for my first time, I did pretty good. Like, I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Because I think I did pretty good for my first time. I even did a split. And I didn't do the regular open split. I did an overlapping split. When I try it on, you see all of that. You see all of that. The inside. The second skirt that I ever made for myself is this big skirt that's taking up the entire frame this is called a circle skirt because when you draft out the pattern of the skirt it is in the shape of a circle this is a full circle skirt it's very flowy very big very comfortable very wavy and i didn't add lining to this skirt this was an easy skirt to make i used to do thin bands back then this is the zip you can see improvements i enjoyed making it next skirt that i made for myself is this one this skirt is called a gather skirt i did this a while ago but i have a little more tweaking to do to it so that i can actually start wearing it i love this skirt it's also another flowy skirt like look at that and yes i use the same fabric that i used to do the pegged skirts i don't know i don't even know why i use the same one but yeah it's called a gather skirt because the process of sewing it you are gathering the skirt together if you look closely you can see that it gathers at the waist because that's how it's meant to be because it's a gather skirt so when i try it on you'll see what it looks like also very free very flowy very nice very fun and all of that this is the back of the skirt done with that one okay 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 now we are advancing i'm getting better at sewing i'm getting more used to using a machine and i'm about to show you all my favorite skirts or let's say one of my favorite i feel like the last few skirts that i made for myself are all my favorites from the fabric to the lining to the sewing to everything ah. okay so so this is a pleated skirt and these type of pleats are called kiss and box because there's a kiss and there's a box like in the method of pleating the skirt it's like a kiss and a box method another very flowy non-restricting fun skirts my favorite type of skirts i love how colorful it is i wore this recently i put a hook on it so this skirt is fully finished you can tell that i haven't really touched my older skirts in a while i'm trying to work on them so i can start wearing them but this is completely finished get into the band this is when i started doing thick bands i'm actually happy that i made it this thick i did not expect the skirt to come out this beautifully 
but when I saw the material I fell in love it was love at first sight so from there I already knew what was up yeah this is the front of the skirt you can see the pleating this is the back of the skirt I used pink lining for this skirt I'm not the biggest fan of pink but I don't know the pink it, it was calling me get into it look at how bright and beautiful the pink is there are so many colors on the skirt I could have chosen any other color but I chose pink of all colors and look how beautiful it came out look at the pink zip I mean the pink stitching it came out beautifully and I'm happy that I chose pink it goes with the vibe of the skirt the design of the skirt is actually a bird flying like if you look closely it's a bird flying look it's a bird flying around love everything about it yes this was fun to make honestly pleats take time you're going to have to be patient doing the pleats but it was fun once i got the hang of it i just listened to music and pleated the skirt and it was a good time i was having a good time the finishing let's talk about the finishing look it has a beautiful finishing and i love that about it i love that they taught us how to finish our skirts in a very beautiful and professional way so now on to the next skirt this skirt honestly i love this skirt but it's so sad it doesn't fit me i don't know what i did i don't know what i did or when i did it but i did something and i messed up the calculations or i messed up something i don't know but the skirt is tight there is a way that i can make it fit properly but it requires a lot of time and effort and work and i'll get to it it's just i have other things that i'm doing right now i can't get to it right now but i will eventually get to it because i have to wear this skirt i must wear this skirt come on i like, get into the beauty this is called a peplum skirt i'm sure you've heard of things like peplum top peplum skirt well yeah this is it come on get into it this is the back of the skirt that's what the back of the skirt looks like this is the front if I try this on and for some reason it fits me then I'll show you guys like of course but if I try it on and it doesn't fit me then just know I don't know what I did but I did something I'm really proud of this skirt put a lot of time and effort work into this so I'm very proud of it and I love the material the color combination is perfect the next skirt is A-line skirt this is also one of my favorite skirts and this is the second to the last skirt oh yeah this is an A-line skirt and uh, I don't know if you can see it well maybe when I try it on you'll be able to see it better but it's in the shape of an A when they told me i was making an a-line skirt and they were like pick the material you want this one caught my eye immediately because i was like a-line stripes i love stripes i love the color red this is my favorite part of the skirt the way it does this isn't that so cool like oh my mind yeah when i thought of a line and i saw stripes i was like yeah that's going to look cool i prefer the look of thick bands i mean come on and the color it looks so good oh i can't i love this skirt and it's so flowy and the fabric is so soft and it's also the first skirt that i made not using ankara fabric so i'm very happy with it i'm happy with the way it turned out the last skirt, the grand finale, the last skirt that I was taught to make, the last skirt that I made for myself. If you watched my last video, you've seen a bit of this skirt, but you haven't seen it in its full glory. You haven't. This is a six pieces skirt. So yes, the skirt has six pieces. When you look at the skirt and you look at the joining, it's six pieces. I'm sure you guys have seen skirts and dresses with this design they're fitted at the top they come in like this and then they fall out like this and that's what this skirt is like it's quite long but yes i love this skirt i'm very proud of it again i love the fabric i always make sure to pick fabric that i like because duh i'm actually going to wear it so i pick out nice fabric 
get into it get into it this skirt has a hook and everything like it's ready to wear i used green lining it was very interesting using green lining i use green lining i use green thread it was very cool i'm happy that i used green lining because i was going to use yellow but they didn't have this shade of yellow so i used green and i'm happy that i did because i love the way the inside looks this is what the inside of the skirt looks like i love it everything works out for a reason this is the front of the skirt this is the back of the skirt so yeah, when i try it on you're going to see this skirt in its full glory and in its full beauty and everything so far i've made 10 skirts i made one for each of my sisters one for my mom so i just showed you seven different skirts i hope you guys like them some skirts took a little more time than others some were easier than others some were harder than others but at the end of the day they all came out beautifully they all well they almost all fit me and i love the sewing love the material love the lining love everything it is up to my standard and i can't wait to wear them i'm not a skirt girl that's just the truth you honestly will not catch me out in the streets wearing a skirt you will not i only wear skirts to church and that's even once in a while but with these skirts i've sewn i want to show off my work okay First of all, I want to show off my work. Second of all, they're beautiful, so I'm going to wear them. I'm still not really a skirt girl, but these ones have grown on me, so I am bold to wear them out. I've never really had flowy skirts before. It's always like pencil skirts, so I'm happy that I've sewn skirts that are free and flowy and I feel comfortable in and that are non-restricting. That makes skirts fun to wear. So in the future, I'm excited to sew more different variations of skirts, try different designs and new themes. If you've made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below which skirt is your favorite. Let me know. Mine, honestly, I have so many favorites, but I think the pleated skirt is my favorite. It has to be my favorite. And it's the only skirt that I've actually worn out in public. So having done that, it's definitely my favorite and uh, people hyped me up when they saw the skirt so don't forget to subscribe like comment share don't forget to do all of that and when you subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications and click all so you can be notified whenever I post a new video see you in my next one okay bye